Talmud Bavli Gmar Brachot, Perak Shishi Daf Lamed He Amud Bet, Chapter 6, page 35b. We're just going to start from the last few words of the previous page. Look, Hashya, there is no contradiction. Kan Kodem Bracha. Here, uh, in the verse that states that the earth belongs to Hashem, is before one recites a blessing. Kodem Bracha is before the blessing. Kan Lacha Bracha. And here, uh, the verse that states that Hashem has given the earth to man, this re is referenced to Lacha Bracha after one recites a blessing. Ama Rabbi Hanina Bar Papa, Rabbi Hanina Bar Papa said, Kol Hane Hane Hene. Min ha'olam hazeh belo bracha, whoever derives benefit from this world, without saying a blessing, ke'ilu gozel la'kadosh baruch hu hu uchneset l'Yisrael, is as if he robbed the Holy One, blessed is he, in the assembly of Israel. Sh'nemar, gozel aviv ve'imo ve'omer e'in pasha chaver hu le'ish mashlit. For it stated, he who robs his father and his mother and says it is no crime, is a, is a companion to a destructive man. That's from Proverbs 28, verse 24. The Ein HaKadosh Baruch Hu, now his father is none other than Hashem, the Holy One, blessed is he. Shneemar, Allahu Avicha Kanecha, as it stated, is he not your father, your master? The Eini Mo, Ela Knesset Israel, and his mother, is none other than the assembly of Israel. Shneemar, Shma benimus saravicha ba'altitosh torat imecha, as it stated, heed my son the discipline of your father, and do not forsake the instruction of your mother. My chaver hu le'ish mashtit, what does it mean he's a companion to a destructive man? Ama rabbi chanina bar papa, rabbi chanina bar papa said, chaver hu le'yarav, Le Yarav Am ben Nevat, he is a companion to Yarav Am ben Nevat, Shehishchit et Israel la Avihem Shebashamayim, who destroyed the loyal, who destroyed Israel to their father in heaven. Rabbi Hanina bar Papa Rame, Rabbi Hanina bar Papa contrasted Ketiv. Uh, Velakachti Degani Beitova Gomer, it is written, and I'll take back, or I'll take my grain in its time. Uh, this is from Hashaya 2, verse 11. Meaning that the grain is God's and not for man to use. Uchtiv Vasafta Deganecha Vagomer. But another verse is written, and you'll gather in your grain. Indicating that the grain is God's. It is man's, sorry, is man's grain. Lokashia, there is no contradiction. Kan bizman she Israel or sin at Here, uh, meaning gathering your, where it says gathering your grain, this is a time when Israel does the will of God. Kan bizman she in Israel or sin retonoshamakom. And here, where it says that the grain belongs to God, this is a time when Israel does not do the will of God. Tanu Rabbanan, Rabbis taught in a brisa, Basafta deganecha, and you'll gather in your grain. Matamud lomar. So what does the Tanakh say? Lefish nemar loya mosh sefer haTorah hazemi picha. For since it's stated, this book of the Torah shall not depart from your mouth. Yachol devarim kichtavan, it would not, it would be possible that the words are literal as they are written. Talmud lomar vasafta deganecha, the Torah states, and you'll gather in your grain, vasafta deganecha, haneheg bahen min hagderech eretz. Lead with To lead your life um, with Torah study, uh, or lead with Torah study conducted in the way of the world.
meaning current study should, should be combined with earning a livelihood. Divrei Rabbi Ishmael, these are the words of Rabbi Ishmael. Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai, Omer Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai says, Esha connect be Adam Choresh Bishat Harisha, if a man plows at the time of plowing, Bezorea Bishat Zuria, and sows at the time of sowing, the Kotze Bishat Ktsira, and harvests at the time of harvesting, Bedash Bishat Disha, and threshes at the time of threshing, Bezore Bishat Haruach, and winnows at the time of, of the win. Torah, Matehe Aleha, what will become of the study of Torah if people are so preoccupied with all these um, with all of these activities? Rather, at a time when Israel does the will of the omnipresent. Their work is done by others. the Gomer as it stated and strangers will arise and shepherd your flocks so other people will do the work and we will be able to devote ourselves to Torah Israel but at a time when Israel does not do the will of the omnipresent their work is done by them personally as it stated, and you'll gather in your grain. The Lord, and not only that, Ela Shemelechet Acherim Naaset Al Yadan. That the work of others is done by them. Shnemar Vaavarata et Ovecha Begomer, as it says, and you'll serve your enemies. Amar Abaye Abaye said, Harbe Asu, Kerabi Ishmael, many divas Rabbi Ishmael uh, advocates, Va Alta Beyadan, and was successful, Kerabi Shimon Ben Yochai, Veloy Alta Beyadan, and others who did as Rabbi Shimon Ben Yochai, and were not devoting themselves too much to study, or only to study, and they were not successful. Amar Lehu Rabba Lerabanam, Rabba would say to the rabbis, to his disciples, Bematuta. Sorry, bema tu, sorry, bema tuta minayecho. I beg of you that your main Nisan of your main Tishrei during the days of Nisan and the days of Tishrei, Lord Titchazu Kamai, do not appear before me. Kihechi de Lord Titado bim zonayecho kula shata, so that you will not be preoccupied with your sustenance the entire year. <coughs> Amar Rabba Bar Bar Chana Amar Rabbi Yochanan Mishum Rabbi Yehuda Be Rabbi Eli Rabbi Rabba Bar Bar Chana said that said that Rabbi Yochanan reported in the name of Rabbi Yehuda the son of Rabbi Eli Bo Ur Eshelo Kadurot Harishonim Dorot Achronim Come and see. That the later generations are unlike the earlier generations, meaning that part, that the level of piety has has declined. Dorot harishonim asur toratan keva umalachtan arai. The earlier generations made their Torah their main occupation, and their work was incidental. Zovazo nitkayam nitkayma beyadan, and this their Torah knowledge. And this, their financial means, remained with them. Dorot Achronim Shasu Malachtan Kevavataratan Arai. The later generations made their work their main occupation, and the Torah was incidental. Zovazo Lo Nitkaima Beyadan. This, their financial means, nor their Torah knowledge remained with them. <coughs> Excuse me. And Rabbi Yochanan reported in the name of 
tribune to the son of Rabbi Eli. Bo ur e shelo kadorot harishonim dorot harishonim. Come and see that the later generations are unlike the earlier generations. Dorot harishonim hayu machnisim perotehim derech tar teraksemon. The earlier generations would bring their crops into into their house via the normal route. Kedei lechayavan b'maise in order to subject the crops to tithes. Dorot achronim machnisim perotehen derech gagot derech derech chatserot derech karpi karpipot. The later generations bring their crops into the house via the roof, via the courtyards, and via storage yards um, next to their houses, and not through the main entrance. In order to free the crops from an obligation of tithing. Dama Rabbianai, Rabbianai said, Ein hatevel mitchayev b'maaser ad sheyire penei habayit. Untithed produce does not become subject to tithes until it sees the face of the house. That is, if, until it's brought in through the main entrance. Shneemar biarti hakadosh min habayit, as it's stated, and we're just going to go into the to the beginning of the next page to finish this. As it's stated, I have removed the sacred from the house. <coughs> Excuse me. But Rabbi Yochanan Amar, but Rabbi Yochanan says, Afilu chatzer kovat, even the courtyard of the house establishes a tithing. Shema ve'achlu v'sharecha v'saveu. As it's stated, and they shall eat within your gates and be satisfied. Sorry, not the, I did mean the top of the, the next page. I mean, I mean, I meant below the screen, sorry. <coughs> so now we're up to um, we're up to the middle of the page where it says about, uh, yeah, about halfway down the page where it says Chutz min hayayim vechule. On the screen, it's about uh, halfway down the screen. The two dots. So now, um, a quote from the Mishnah which says Chutz min hayayim vechule, except for wine. Meaning, uh, on wine he says Borei priyagafim, which is uh, different to my Shanayayim, why is wine different? Ilema Mishunta Ishtane le Iruya Ishtane le Virha. If you say, because it is changed for the better, it changes uh, the blessing. The Hare Shemen de Ishtane le Iruya. Why there is, uh, what about the case of, the, of olive oil, which has also changed for the better? Velo Ishtani Levircha, yet it does not change the blessing. Dama Rabbi Yehuda Amar Shmuel, for Rabbi Yehuda said in the name of Shmuel. Bechen Amar Rabbi Yitzchak Amar Rabbi Yochanan, and say said Rabbi Yitzchak in the name of Rabbi Yochanan. Shem and Zayit, Mevachin Alav Bore Priha Et, an olive oil one recites the blessing Bore Priha Et, who creates the fruit of the tree. So why does an olive oil have its own bracha? Amri, they say... Hatam there Mishum de lo Efsha because it is not possible uh, it's not possible because why? Because uh, we can't specify the type of tree. Hechi nevarech how should we recite the blessing for olive oil? Nevarech bore pri hazait. Should we recite the blessing of one who creates the fruit of the olive tree? Hey ra gufe zait ikri. The fruit itself is called an olive. O 
Nevarech Aleha Bore Pri Haetz Zayit. But let us re recite on olive oil the blessing of Bore Pri Bore Pri Haetz Zayit, one who creates the fruit of the olive tree. So why would we say the tree specifically? Ela Amar Marzutra Rad Marzutra said Cham Razayen Mishcha Lo Zayen one sustains an oil does not sustain. U Mishcha Lo Zayen but uh, oil does not sustain. Behatnan but we learned in a Mishnah Hanode Min Hamazon Mutaba Maim Uvmelach one who vows to abstain from sustenance is permitted water and salt. Vehavinan ba, and we raise a difficulty concerning it. Maim umelach hu delo ikri mazon, water and salt are not called sustenance. Are not called sustenance is the implication of the Mishnah. Ha komile ikri mazon, all other foods are called sustenance. Neima teheve tiyuvta de Ravu Shmuel. Let us say this is a refutation of Ravu Shmuel. De amre ein mevachin bore mine mezonot ela bechameshet haminin bilvad. We say that we recite the blessing one who creates species of sustenance only on the five species of grain. But Amar Rav Huna, and Rav Huna says in answer to this, the Omer Kol Hazan Alei Alei, saying anything that sus that sustains uh, anything that sustains is prohibited to me. Alma Mishcha Zayin, evidently, therefore, oil does sustain. <clears throat> Just to comment, since all foods other than water and salt are prohibited, when one vows to prohibit anything that sustains, it is evident that olive oil, olive oil also provides sustenance. Sustenance. Evidently, the reason a specific blessing was designated for wine and not for oil cannot be because only wine provides sustenance. El hamra sa'id o mishcha lo sa'id. Rather, wine satiates, whereas oil does not satiate. The hamra mi sa'id, but does wine indeed satiate? Why Rabu drink wine all day on Pesach Eve? Eve, he 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 denigre lil bay, so that he would wet his appetite. Venehu matatve, and he would eat matzah with even, uh, he would even eat more matzah. Tuva garir, a lot of wine whets the appetite. Purta sa'id, and a little bit, bit of wine satisfies. Umi sa'id klal, but does wine satiate at all? Vehaktiv, vayain yisamach, levav enosh, velechem levav enosh. Yisad, vegomer. Why it's written, and why gladdens the heart of man, and bread. The heart of man, it does not satiate, etc. Nahama hu de sa'id hamra lo sa'id. It is only bread that satiates, wine does not satiate. Ela hamra it beitarte sa'id umesh umesamach. Rather, wine has two qualities it satiates and it makes happy. Nahama misad sa'id. Samuche lo mesamach. Bread satiates and it does not make happy. I hachi. If so, nevarech aleha shalosh brachot. We should recite after it uh, the three blessings, that is, three blessings of Birkat Amazon, just like after eating bread. Lo kava kave in she seudatehu ilave. People do not establish their meal around wine. Amale Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak Le Rava Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak said to Rava, "I kava ilave seudate my if one did establish his meal around wine, what would be the law?" Amale he said, "Amale he said to Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak, 
לכשיבוא על אליהו ויאמר איהביה כביותה. When Elijah the prophet will come and tell us whether it is, uh, whether it, that is a meal based on wine, is an establishment of a meal, then we will consider it. But for now, at any rate, his attitude is considered abnormal by any other, by, uh, by all people. <coughs> uh, so after drinking wine, we don't say the three Greek karmas on blessings. Gufa, the text itself says, Amar Rav Yoda Amar Shmuel, Rav Yoda said in the name of Shmuel, Bechen Amar Rav Yitzchak Amar Rav Yochanan, so said Rav Yitzchak in the name of Rav Yochanan, Shem En Zayt Mevachin Alav Goreh Fri Ha'etz, on olive oil, one recites the blessing, the one who creates the fruit of the tree, Goreh Fri Ha'etz. Hechi Dame, what is the circumstance of this? Ilema Deka Shatelei, if we say that one is drinking, that is the olive oil, oz, mazikle, it, it, it will surely harm him. Detanya, for it was taught in a brisa, hashote shemen shel truma, one who drinks oil of truma, meshalem et hakeren eveeno meshalem et hachomesh, pays the principal and does not pay the fifth. Hasach. Shemen shel truma, one who anoints himself with oil of truma, meshalem et hakeren u meshalem et hachomesh, pays the principal and pays the additional fifth. Ela daka achile al yedekat, rather where one eats it by means of, of uh, eating bread, that is, the oil is on the bread, if so, the bread is the primary food and the oil is a subordinate food. Utnan, and we learned in the Mishnah, and we learned in the Mishnah, Zehakal, this is the rule, Kol Shehu Ikar Imot Fela, whatever is primary uh, and a subordinate is eaten with it. Mevarech al ha'ikar ochoter et hatfela. One recites the blessing on the primary food, and and discharges uh, the blessing for the subordinate food is discharged. Ela dekashatele al yede anigaron. Rather, the ruling where one drinks, uh, that is, drinks the olive oil by means of anigaron, into which it is mixed. Uh, Anigaron is a kind of beetroot soup. Da Amar Rabba Bar Shmuel, as Rabba Bar Shmuel said, Anigaron Maya Dis Desilka. Anigaron uh, is from the water of beet uh, of cooked beets. Uh, oxygaron Maya Oxygaron. Is soup made from the water? And just the top of the next page, dehulhu shilake of all cooked veg of all cooked vegetables. <coughs>